Welcome to the College Football Player Prop Show presented by Line Star. I'm Shannon Somerville with your top five college football player prop bets for week nine that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Price Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. If you don't have those apps, download them, use the promo code LineStar when you do, and you'll get up to $100 of your first deposit matched. And if you can, please do me a huge favor, like this video, subscribe to our Line Star channel, and comment below. A comment also enters you into our prop bets contest. We're giving out $100 if we hit four of our five props. All you need to do is comment below and you're automatically entered into win. We will announce on the show last week if we hit four or five. Now, full disclosure, we are transparent on this show. Last week was a horrible week for me. In fact, my worst week of the year in picks. We were 0 for 5 last week, so feel free to troll me in the comments. I absolutely deserve it. Last week was awful. It's a new week. It is Georgia-Florida week. I have my Georgia sweatshirt on. We're ready to roll here, although I am a little bit nervous for my Bulldogs heading into Florida this weekend because we're without Brock Bowers, our best player, is sideline. He just underwent uh, ankle surgery, so he is out for this one, which that one hurts. I'm a little worried about this game. But it's uh, one of the best games of the year. The largest outdoor cocktail party in the nation. That's its official title. So for anyone who's interested in that, it's pretty awesome. I've been a few times to good old Jacksonville. So hopefully the dogs can come home with the win. But in the meantime, let's win some money with these props. Also, if you have some best bets that you like, drop them in the comments. Sometimes I like your guys' picks and I just throw them into a parlay together and you guys have been helping me out a lot as well. So we're all trying to help each other out and beat the books. So let's get after it. All right, let's get to these picks. Starting off with Louisville quarterback, Jack Plummer, over 234 and a half passing yards. That's around minus 120 in your sports books. Plummer's averaging 271.6. That's second in the ACC in passing yards. He's kind of quietly like an underrated quarterback that's just putting up some pretty good numbers. He's gone over that line. Six of eight games. Line stars projecting Plummer to put up at least 281. And going up against Duke, yes, I know they've allowed the third fewest passing yards per game in the ACC. This is a top five defense for sure. But Duke is coming off a pretty bad loss to Florida State, where quarterback Jordan Travis threw for 268. And Plummer's a much better quarterback in terms of passing than Jordan Travis. In fact, he also has some pretty good weapons, too. Senior Jamari Thrash is unbelievable. And I also like his over on his line at 78.5 receiving yards he's just a mismatch nightmare and i think duke will have some problems containing him really like Plummer's spot here i'm taking the over on 234 and a half pass yards to another quarterback who's been impressing this season old miss quarterback jackson dart we're taking the over on his passing yards the line right now at 246 and a half line star is projecting him for 272.3, so some significant edge there in terms of our projection compared to the line. Dart is averaging 262.8 and has gone over 246.5 in four of seven games. Good matchup for him going up against Vanderbilt this week, the team that gives up the second most pass yards per game in the SEC. They're even worse than LSU, a team that Jackson Dart put up 389 passing yards against, so he's in a good spot here. Dart leads the nation in percentage of completions over 20 yards, so watch out for some explosive plays against this Vanderbilt defense, especially since he has his weapon wide receiver Trey Harris, who leads the nation in yards per reception, or leads the SEC, rather, in yards per reception. So watch out for that air attack of Ole Miss in this game against Vanderbilt. We're taking the over on Jackson Dart's passing yards. Keeping it in the SEC, you know I had to give you guys some Georgia-Florida props, and that's exactly where I'm headed, although I do need to disclose that I personally am not going near any of these bets. I'm superstitious, and I actually don't bet on player props on Georgia games. I know that's so weird, but it's just a superstition. Can't do it, so you guys can go ahead and do it on my behalf. Go right ahead. All right, the first one we're going to be looking at is, okay, so Brock Bowers, I mentioned at the top of the show, is out. So that means there's going to be some other playmakers that are going to have to step up for Georgia. And I think one of the guys to do that is going to be Ladd McConkie. He's a wide receiver who missed the first four games of the season due to a back injury. But last year, he was second in receiving yards behind Bowers. This season, averaging 36 receiving yards per game through three games. He's kind of eased his way back into the season last week, though, or two weeks ago against Vanderbilt. He has a season high, 58 receiving yards, and he did have... 
51 receiving yards last year in the Georgia-Florida game. So I expect Ladd McConkey to have a good receiving yards game and kind of step up to fill the void. It's going to be necessary for Georgia to get the win here. If they want to move the chains on offense, they got to go to a reliable receiver, and that is Ladd McConkey. Now, another way you could go is I was also debating between these two Georgia props here and the tight end who will be replacing Brock Bowers. And I like the over on his receiving yards set at 26 and a half. He had 32 receiving yards against Vanderbilt. This is a guy who is 6'5 and 245. He's very talented. And from what all his teammates say on Georgia, they speak very highly of him and just say he has all of these elite skills. He just hasn't really been able to showcase it. This is the opportunity for him, and he absolutely could step into this role and impress a lot of people. He was top eight nationally when he was being recruited out of high school. This is a guy with a lot of skill sets and the physical attributes to absolutely crush the over here against Florida. I like the over 26 and a half receiving yards for Oscar Delp. For my last prop bet, I'm going to the Pac-12. Cal is taking on USC, and I'm going with Cal quarterback Fernando Mendoza over 213 and a half passing yards. You may say, who is that? Well, he's a redshirt freshman who has gotten thrown into the fire in his first couple games. In fact, he had to face the top two defenses in the Pac-12 to start off his career. He had 149 passing yards against Utah, which is a top five defense nationally. And then he put up 207 against Oregon State. Well, good news for him this week. He gets a much lighter defense in USC. Line stars project Mendoza for 256 passing yards so significant edge there in terms of line stars projection versus the line USC gives up a ton of explosive plays four of the last five quarterbacks that USC has faced has easily gone over this 213 and a half number so I like Mendoza here even though he's young and experienced I like his odds here to hit the over on 213 and a half passing yards I also need to tell you about another prop bet that I haven't seen pop up yet, but keep your eyes out for Tawi Walker. The Oklahoma running back has a great matchup this week against Kansas, a team that's allowed the third most rushing yards in the Big 12. He had been suspended last week due to conduct detrimental to the team. Very much an internal suspension, but head coach Brett Menable says he'll be back and available this week. So keep your eye out for that one. I love the over. He's in a great spot. Great running back. He's one of the only running backs on Oklahoma to hit triple digits this season. So look out for him as well. Let me know what you think of my prop bets for this week. And what do you think about the dogs? Are we going to get the win this weekend in Jacksonville? Let me know in the comments. Also, a comment enters you into our prop bets contest. We're giving out $100 if we hit four of five props. So we will announce that on the show next week if we do that. So let me know. Good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors. Remember to bet responsibly. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you guys next week. Go dogs.